Hey everybody, I'm Lance Allen and welcome to True Fire Free Guitar Lessons. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you an ongoing series called Inspired Fingerstyle Guitar. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a really cool right hand technique and percussive rhythm with a single note that's kind of doing a lot of pulsing. So let's get started. I'm using a simple chord progression. I've got my A minor 7, which is basically your first finger and second finger on the, basically like a C chord, but without the third finger. That's what that should sound like. And then I'm going to go to C chord, and I'm going to use my G chord like this, and then a bar chord F. If you can't do the bar chord, wait till the end of the lesson. I'll show you how you can do it with the smaller chord. And don't forget, I'm going to have the tab with this one, so look below and make sure that you get the right hand very well, and you'll be able to do it. The key is the right hand. So here we are at our A minor 7. Our thumb is going to start on string 5, the root note, and then our first finger plucks string 4, and then our thumb comes down to string 4. And this may seem a little uncomfortable or strange that your thumb and first finger is hitting the same string, but it's exactly what I'm doing to get that really cool pulsing note. So I'm going to go do thumb, first, thumb, and then I'm going to do two fingers on string four and three. That would be your fourth string, first finger, and then third finger, or I'm sorry, middle finger on the third string. And you're going to do a double stop and then a, a tap. The tap is where you kind of smack the strings lightly. They hit the frets a little bit. And you want your first and second fingers to kind of end up right where they plucked strings three and four. So far I've got thumb, first, thumb, pluck, snap. Okay. And then I'm going to do first finger, thumb, first finger at the end. First, thumb, first, and you can start over. So I'm going to play it really slowly, only on the A minor chord. One and two. chord. You just put your third finger there on the third fret and you're doing the same thing in the right hand. One and two and three and four and When we move to G chord, our thumb is going to switch to string six. So I'm going to do six, four, uh, my first finger plays four just like it did for A minor and C. The only thing is my thumb is skipping string five. I'm not going to hit five. I'm going to go from six to four. And then F chord is done the same way that you did the G chord. So you just want to work on the right hand. Make sure that you look at the tablature and you get the exact thing down. P is for your thumb, I index, M for your middle finger. And just follow that. Get it up to speed. It's got a nice back beat to it. Now I mentioned that you can use a different F chord. The F chord that I would suggest probably is like the smaller bar where you got your first finger there and middle finger on your second fret third string and third finger curled around on the fourth string third fret. The only thing we're gonna have to do here is move your thumb to string four and our double stops to string three and two. Here's what that'll sound like. So that sounds cool. Now you can use this right hand pattern with any of your chords that you like to play or chord progression. You just have to move your thumb to the root note. Say if I'm on the D chord, I have to use my thumb on the fourth string. Okay. So that sounds really cool. A minor, C, G, and F is the chords that I was using. So I hope you enjoyed that. The right hand is a lot of fun to do that. Again, my name is Lance Allen, and feel free to visit LanceAllenStudio.com. And thanks for watching this free, inspired, fingerstyle guitar lesson today. Have a good one.